Hey everyone, welcome to this Custo Query Language training series. This series will provide you the knowledge and skills to perform the data analysis and querying the data in Microsoft Azure. Whether you are working with large data sets, analyzing the logs or managing the telemetry, this series will provide you with the skills to transform the data into actionable insights. If you are ready to take your querying expertise to the next level, then you are in the right place. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In this series, we are going to dive deep into the KQL. The KQL is a read-only query that we use not only to query the data, but to explore, analyze the large volume of data and visualize it. This is used with various Azure services like Azure Monitor, Azure Log Analytics, and Azure Data Explorer by Azure Administrators, Security Engineers, SOC Analysts, or Data Engineers. The series covers the videos on Introduction to the KQL, KQL Basic Operators to Filter, Project, or Extend Object Properties, advanced querying, joins, unions, and subqueries, aggregating and summarizing the data with KQL, working with logs and telemetry data, KQL functions and calculations, visualizing the KQL data to create single pane of class, real-world KQL use cases. Whether you are a beginner or have some experience with querying the data, this series will take you from the basics to advanced KQL techniques. You will learn how to write efficient queries, troubleshooting the complex data sets, and even visualize your data for better insights. Here you will see the event table. If I want, I can summarize this table, can perform the count function by a specific property like event log and run this query to summarize this data by different types of logs. If I want to visualize this, I can render it to different types of charts, be it area, bar or pie chart. And I can create the charts which I can use in the dashboards. I can pin it to the Azure dashboard. I can save this query for future functions. Throughout this series, we will cover everything that you need to know, which includes KQL basics, the query syntax, operators, and the functions, advanced queries to collect and work with the data across the different tables or data sets using joins, unions, subqueries, or the performance optimizations, data visualization to create the charts, workbooks, and the dashboards, real world use cases, for applying the KQL in real life monitoring and troubleshooting scenarios. I'm excited to take you on this journey for understanding the KQL, where we will start with the basics of KQL and we'll take it to the advanced level of KQL queries. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join me in this journey of custom query language. Thank you and see you in the next video.